Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of City Bus Manager. Back in Tarvin today, where uh, in the last episode, I know it was two weeks ago with Christmas Day and Boxing Day uh, being there, that's why there was no video last week uh, and of course no Transport Fever video last week because I was having two days off. Uh, it caused absolute outcry, <laughs> uproar, uproar and outcry with, the, with some people. Where is, where is Tarvin, where is Tarvin? What's happened to the series? Don't panic, it's just, uh, just a religious holiday, calm down everybody. But we're back today in Tarvin uh, where uh, we're continuing our mission to get these electric buses on the road and uh, on the Chester Park and Ride. Now we've got £47,000 in the bank, it's currently 12.34 so we've got another peak time today to go on Friday. Obviously we're going to be taking less money tomorrow on Saturday because Saturdays are just quiet so that's just how they work. We're going to spend some of that money on researching new buses. Oh, I haven't got enough money. There we go. £30,000 on a new single-decker. Some could argue that that's a complete waste of money, couldn't they? they well, they could. They could. Uh, now, I have completely forgotten, so we're going to send you to the paint shop. I know you're due out shortly, but I've completely forgotten what the colour code is for your grey paint, because I know they're all in the grey livery, aren't they? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send you to the paint shop and write that down. Okay, should have been more prepared. 8A, 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 that's the one. Easy enough. Right, no, don't, don't exit the game. Nope, that's fine. Uh, so, yeah, BYD environmental buses. We'll get them going. Have we got any used buses, I wonder, uh, that we can... Oh, wow, President. Lovely. Have we actually got any Plaxton Presidents? I don't know if we do. I don't think we do. I mean, is everywhere else taken? And you see, that's not... Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll put a bid in on a Plaxton President. Uh, right, how much? 24,000? Are you having a laugh? Good lord. Right, tell you what, we'll, we'll go up to 20 grand. They've accepted. Excellent. I have done that purely and simply for the Plaxton President fans amongst us there. There we go. This is where you're going to tell me that we already had one. I mean, it can carry 90 passengers, so that's not bad at all, is it? And it's another double-decker just to, uh, you know, just to get in and amongst the fleet. Where is it? Right, it's there. That's a really good model, actually. It's a short wheelbase. That's lovely. That's absolutely lovely. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Right, we'll get you uh, get you prepared for our service. It's done nearly a quarter of a million miles, goodness me. Uh, which, actually, for a Plaxton president of that age, is probably not that bad. Uh, right, more money. It was also... Oh, hello, you're back. Excellent. Right, okay, that's good. Everything's looking ship-shape uh, in that department. Uh, what we do need to do is we need to put some uh, some photovoltaic uh, charging doodars above here. All right, that was a waste of money. You don't even have buses part there. But, of course, these solar panels are, uh, are going to mean that we, uh, we save money on electricity, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. Current production, daily production... See, it says that. Is that consumption? Production and consumption. Uh, right. Bought, sold. Yeah, we're, we really are sort of... Yeah, 874 kilowatt hours. We'll need a lot more of these solar panels, won't we, to, uh, to be selling. Uh, back. Oh, hang on. Pulsar 2, SB200. Ah, that was worth researching then. I like them. Right, tell you what. We'll have one of them. We don't have enough money. Yeah, this is not going to work. <laughs> and we've unlocked the Utong E10. Fantastic. Well, I mean, they can charge, can't they? I mean, that's already charged. People were on about, well, why don't you, you know, grade some of your bus stops so that they can charge while they're waiting, like on the Chester Park and Ride. But, I mean, those buses have just gone and done a full morning. And it's fully charged already, so I, I don't... I, unless they sort of edit the you know, how fast they deteriorate, how fast the batteries run out of charge. I don't think there's really any need for us to do that, is there? I mean, it's a great idea if we needed it, but it, it just doesn't seem to need it, does it? I mean, we are making a hell of a lot of money, aren't we? I mean, we've still got another, like, 50 grand to go. Why were we making so much more money? Why are we losing? Is that because, you see, the expenses are more or less the same. Ticket revenue has gone down. I wonder why. Do people not like using our buses anymore? But they're wonderful. Why would you not want to use our buses? 
let's have a look. Have we got a broken bus? We do. We've got a broken eclipse. We'll replace the wiper. Uh, oh yeah, the fuel price is more expensive. That's why all the buses have been left to uh, to run with less fuel. How are we doing in terms of our uh, our ticket office? That is fine. I mean, it's pretty empty to be honest with you, isn't it? It's quite a shame. Come on, get using the ticket office, people. I know I uh, I researched the mobile app development, didn't I? Which is uh, is never going to be good for ticket offices, which is a shame. Right, we'll, we'll ignore the double-decker e-buses for now. Double-decker buses, yeah. What have we got? So we've got the Enviro 400. Oh, we've got a Street Deck Electro Liner. Right, let's see. Can we have a couple of them? How about 20 grand? That's my final offer. And it's not good enough. 24 grand. No. Okay. I mean, this is cheaper. They're not for having it, though. Hmm. I mean, I could afford to buy a brand new one, couldn't I? Right, so from Saturday to Monday, an increased passenger volumes to be expected. Right, okay, so actually, we might have enough buses tomorrow. Uh, we won't have enough buses, don't be daft. We never have enough buses. Oh, what I wanted to say as well, shift schedule, settings. I was looking for this and I couldn't find it. Ignored preferred vehicle group if no suitable bus is available. So obviously it's going to try. It's going to try to allocate the buses. Let's have a look for tomorrow. So there we go. A sign. There. Everything's fine. Everything is absolutely fine. So uh, obviously on the Chester Park and Ride, let's have a look. Is it? Have I remembered to allocate that? Yes, these are all on the Chester Park and Ride, because they come under electric double-deckers. But we don't have electric double-deckers for the whole shift, so it's put a Gemini 2 and a Gemini 2 on that all day. That's brilliant. Yeah, so it, it'll try. I mean, look, there's another Gemini. There's quite a few Gemini 2s on the uh, on the Chester Park and Ride tomorrow. Are we expecting it to be busy? But yeah, so, you know, it's it's one of them. We'll We'll do our best... Right, let's have a look. 20 grand. Are you are you happy with 20 grand? No, you still rejected me. How rude. So the Electro Line is 37,000. How much is the... Uh, that's 35,000. I would like some Electro Liners. You know, just, just as something a bit different. It'll obviously be an electric double-decker. 74 grand, right. Yeah, I want it. I just I think we'd be better off buying a used one, but we're not uh, we're not exactly. I mean, look at it. we've got these route masters for God's sake. I mean, that would look great for the heritage fleet, wouldn't it? Just to sort of sling one there. Although you can guarantee the route master will end up getting sent out on a proper service uh, a proper service run, won't it? Right, tell you what, we'll buy the bullet. We'll just have brand new. Right, electric double deckers. Wow. Look at the model quality on that, that's ace. It looks a bit dicey around the front end, but the back looks awesome. And it's got the, the black, like what, um, what you call it as? Uh, Translink. Right, hang on. 8A, 8A, 8A. Ah, lovely. Fits in with the rest of the fleet. 8A, 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 8A. Right, is that gonna, oh, you see, I like that. Funky. And then we'll have a new environmental bus there we go 35 grand electric double deckers yeah lovely there we go a a a a a a a a a a a maybe i'll stop being so bone idle and do a livery for this at some point maybe i will maybe i won't and all you never know <laughs> right so you my good man are gonna park where are you gonna park you're gonna park there right okay I'll let them park where they want, because uh, I don't like having them just in order. You're going to park there, probably, aren't you? Yeah, there we go. So what are you going to be? You're going to be SN73, because obviously you're a 73 plate. Uh, and then YY Alpha. Yankee Yankee Alpha. Uh, you will be SN73HVD. And that's good, because what that means is now we've got more buses for tomorrow. So we won't have to have quite as many Geminis out on the old, uh, on the park and ride. It's 
So if we uh, if we go to Saturday, is this Saturday? Yeah, assign the drivers. There we go. Look, these Geminis aren't needed as much because we've got the SN73 fleet, wherever that may be. There we go. We've got afternoon park and ride there. That's on park and rides all day. Park and rides as well. So uh, yeah, we've probably still got the odd Gemini if we uh, if we go back to the Geminis at the front. Um, actually, oh yeah, there's one there. Look, early morning. Couple there. Lovely. I mean, we're wanting more double deckers, aren't we? Another couple of double deckers there, and we'll be laughing. Because then it frees up these double deckers to go onto other services. Hmm. Yes. Right, I still want one of those pulsars just to, you know, just to sling there. Right, you're actually all fine, so we'll get you painted. Does the president belong in the heritage fleet, though? I don't know. See, I don't see that as a heritage bus, because I remember, I mean, it's probably because I'm a heritage person, but I remember those running around just in service as a child. I'm not sure I do with some of these as well. Right. EB552D, I can remember that one off the top of my head, we've used it that much. 2D, right, do we want it all one colour, or do we want the secondary colour to be grey? I like the grey skirt, although that is very much like what we have on the Heritage Fleet. Ah, it doesn't matter, does it? Right, you can just be a double-decker. You can go out in service like the rest of them. Because if we... The problem is, is if we put the Presidents in the Heritage Fleet, then we have to put the ALX 400s, because they're the same age, pretty much, aren't they? So we'd have to put the ALX 400s in the Heritage Fleet, and if we did that, then we'd have no double-deckers left. That would be an issue. <laughs> so I think we'll, we'll just pretend that it's a few years earlier than it is. Ignore all the electric buses. Ignore them. Ignore them. Right, I still want... Have we got any more buses? Can we buy more cheap buses? Cheap electric buses, that'll do. If we can have them... No, there are none for sale. Hmm, that's annoying. Where have you been? Oh, you're on the Chester Park and Ride. Excellent. Yeah, fantastic. We'll have a, you know, the Park and Ride bus, which you could ans uh, you could argue should be the most uh, universally accessible bus of all. And we'll put in a step entrance bus on it. Fantastic. I love these eclipses, you know. They really are good, aren't they? The ex Halifax Eclipses that we've got in the corner. Lovely. There you see, it's now Saturday. Crack of dawn, so we're not going to be making any money, are we? Everything's coming back. Do you think we should do something radical and make like the park and ride every hour through the night? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Would that be doable? Uh, well, it won't if you're looking in the shift schedule, because that's not where you should be looking. Um, oh, yeah, pointed as well. Uh, pointed out, I've picked the destinations, haven't I? So, obviously, the railway station, the... Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, don't do this now. The zoo park and ride, and the... Yeah, the Greyhound retail park. So, I've obviously done that, but it was pointed out in the comments that it only does it, the copy and paste function doesn't work for the destinations. So obviously I need to uh, I need to sort that out. Right, where did we where did we put it in there? Graham Retail Park, there we go, right, Graham Retail Park. Same again. Oh no, not Alan Ward, Graham Retail Park. And then Zoo Park and Ride. Somewhere. There we go, Zoo Park and Ride. Lovely. Right, that'll do. Uh, so, yeah, we. I mean, it goes until 1900. Oh, yeah, that goes until 2315, doesn't it? 2200. Sunday night into Monday morning. That seems like a great idea. I mean, it's every half an hour through the day there, isn't it? Right, okay, so. When's the earliest one? 5 a.m.? It takes 90 minutes, so would it be better? Because we'd have to use two buses all night then. If we did that. And add it every hour. Would it be better to just have it every two hours? Hmm. 
Right. Yeah. Right, so we'll go with... So this is Sunday night. No, because that's not going to work, is it? Right, so that's 23. 100. Oh no, because it's still every 30 minutes. Right, tell you what, we'll scrap that because I don't really know what I'm doing. So we'll abandon the nighttime service. Yeah, we, we don't need it. Oh, hang on, delayed assignment? What's happening here? Why are we delayed? Right, get, get, get out. Oh, because I haven't, right, I haven't for Wrexham Depot. I haven't assigned everything. I thought it did it for every depot. There we go. Right, not all shifts can be assigned. Right, we're missing a 116. Ah! Right, we need a new bus. Oh, what's happening? Phone's ringing. Right, Jake Blackburn, what do you want, love? Bus driver and needs a break. Go on, treat yourself. There we go. Right, assign them. So that's 14.30. Right, so we've got time to buy a new bus, haven't we? How did that happen? I wonder if at your out, like your out depots, can you have electric things in? Customise. It, it's sort of like the charging fleet. How do you, you know, if you bought an electric bus and put it in here, how would you charge the route? You know, charge the bus? Because there's no, oh, there's charging plugs on the wall there. Is that what they are? I mean, there's electric things, isn't there? They didn't used to be there. So, yeah, maybe there are charging sockets on the wall. That'll do. Right, 88,000 tickets. We're on the way to selling those. That's, uh, that's doable, isn't it? I mean, we need to see. So, how many buses have we got spare? Have we got any buses spare? That's the point. Right, my fleet. Oh, that's just broken buses. Have you not been repaired? Oh, something else. Someone else has broken something else. Right, I see. Nope, just today is fine, yeah. And so we do have a few buses that are available. But then again, to be fair, Saturday, 7.05 in the morning, we don't seem to be struggling. The 101, still a very busy route there, of course, and we've got... Is that the President? It is, it's... Oh, no, it's not, is it? Yes, it is, it's the President with Craig Sankey behind the wheel. Good on you, Craig. Uh, much more heritage than the Gemini 2 we've got going the other way. So the 104 is looking fairly busy. How are we doing down here? I mean, we've got no spare buses down here to, uh, to do anything with. Now we're looking up in Runcon. You see, we've still got loads of this to sort of get. And, of course, loads of run corn. There's loads of areas up here, of course. Where's this? This is Stretton, Appleton Thorn. I feel like this is, like, Liverpool up here. Well, I mean, it is, isn't it? Liverpool's sort of that way. Research into the north would be a good idea. I mean, where, where in terms of research, have we got to unlock still? Oh, we've got four more researchers. That's still quite a... Uh, why is this map so big? The, uh, the Joe Plus exclusive Scarborough map that I did... We seem to use all our researches, and yet the map was not as big as this. Maybe it was because there was just nothing on it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure there'll be a good reason. Right, what do we actually need? So we've got the trophies, we just need 95 grand. We're a bit of a way off that yet, aren't we? Right, so the Chester Park and Ride busy bus there. So it's a good job we upgraded them to Deckers, isn't it? Another one going the other way. Okay, this little leg of the journey is not the busiest, but, you know, it doesn't have to be full all the time. Into the bus station, down to the railway station. Oh, right, 101, fairly busy there as well. Yeah, the, the 101's a busy route, is it? Hang on, I thought that was the 101. Oh, yes, it, it sort of comes in and then does it go up and down? A 
I don't think, I mean, the 107's fairly busy, but it's not that busy that the solo's leaving people behind. I guess it's a Saturday, isn't it? So maybe when it gets to Monday, it's going to be absolutely rammed. But it is just a weekend. Hmm. I'm not sure. Gemini uh, 3 there on the Chester Park and Ride. Don't get me wrong, I, I don't think we're doing badly. Nobody's, nobody's that full, are they? Let's have a look. Ooh, that Chester Park and Ride's busy. That can only carry 96, though. And that is the Heritage Bus there. Yeah, everyone's just managed. Oh, hang on, W1? Why is the W1 busy? That shouldn't be busy. Never usually is. The, uh, the little Winsford Town Runner around there. Yeah, it's not that busy at all, is it? Well, it's not now, but I don't get why Winsford would be so busy on a bus. Hmm. Well, we've got 71 grand in the bank to play with, so I reckon that means we can buy another Electro Liner, not in great condition. So how about 24 grand? They've accepted. Yes! What a muppet. I mean, what a sensible chap that we're doing business with. Right. Hang on. What's happened? It's been on fire. Oh, no. Electric double-deckers. Right. Replace the lighted tyres. Right, the 116, oh no, right, so that's assigned, 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 assigned. Yeah, we, we really do need a bus. Right, buy a bus. Buy a new bus. Just a 10.9 Enviro, that'll do. Have I got, uh, right, hang on, Enviro 200, 10.2. Yes, that'll do. Right, we'll have it in the livery. In the corporate livery, that'll do. Right, where are you? You're there. A sign. There we go. Right, everything's good. Everything is hunky-dory. Let's get on with sorting this chap out. So, I mean, it's, it's charging very quickly, isn't it? What's happening in terms of the electricity? Current production. Hmm... Right, so we really do need to produce more. I mean, we could put the solar panels over... You know, they don't have to be over the electric buses, do they? So, I mean, we're, we're producing about 84 a day. So, what if I go outdoor? Oh, right, we can put solar panels here as well. So, if I... I mean, that's five grand a pop... If I put that over all of there, we're going to be producing a lot more. And these are only solo buses, so they're not going to be that tall, are they? Right, how's that working with the electricity production? Right, oh my lord, look how much we're producing now. So we're actually selling. I mean, it's going to take a while for us to get our our money back on this, isn't it? And it does sort of make our bus garage look a little bit... I, I don't know, you know, it just doesn't look great, does it? i tell you what, we'll put some more over here. There we go. I mean, it's plunged us into 38 grand's worth of debt, but if we go back to the electricity business, right now we're selling loads. I mean, I don't know why we're still buying some. <laughs> Daily production, 3,000. Oh, you see, yeah, because yesterday we bought more than that. Yeah, I guess... Hmm. I wonder how it works it out, what we're using. I tell you, I'm glad that my electricity meter at home's not whizzing around that fast. Hell, I'll be bankrupt in no time. Especially with cost of living crisis we've got going on at the minute. Right, hang on. So you're broken. Are you the one with the broken indicator? Yes, you've still not come back yet. Uh, right, the environmental 200 will get you fixed. Get your light fixed. I'm not having you seized. Um, not having you seized off me. Right, get you painted. What are you going to be? SN73 Yankee Yankee Bravo. 
And that can be your parking space, sir. There we go. Go and be painted. There we go. Eight, 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 eight. Lovely. Oh, you fit in with the rest of the electric fleet now. People were asking as well in terms of the destinations. Yeah, the, some of the buses they work and some of them they don't. Uh, it appears that anything made by Mr. Chips uh, has had its destinations updated. Uh, so I think it works on the Eclipse, for example. Uh, I think I saw it working on there. That changed, didn't it? So, yeah, anything made by Mr. Chips. I don't know if that was made by Mr. Chips. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But uh, I know that Mr. Chips' buses do work. And some of them don't, so it might not necessarily be something you're doing wrong. If you can't get it to work, it might just be the bus model. I mean, I can't see any of them with destinations on. I mean, to be fair, I've not put... I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll have a look. So, destination display. Uh, Joe Ahead Electrics. Yay! There you go, so it works. Chester Electrics. That'll do. What if I put a route number in there? Chester Electrics, zap. There we go, that'll do. And of course it says it on the side there, and just zap on the back. Lovely. It's almost like city zap, isn't it? But uh, not quite as ridiculous. Cities app, if you're not sure, being a, a thing that Transdev introduced between Leeds and York. It was, yeah, I don't think it's still going. I think they got rid of it during COVID. Right, double decker, let's have another. Right, so we'll have one of you if we can afford you. Right, you're not in good nick, so 22 grand. Rejected. I wonder if on this we can, uh, right, have we got any Chester Park and Rides today? that have not gone out yet. I mean, it's 17.07, so highly unlikely. Right, tell you what we'll do. We'll assign everything for tomorrow. I wonder if we'll have anything, because obviously it's... Uh, right, we've, got, we've got Paul Stone there, Harry Holmes, Ben Ems, taking out uh, the Geminis tomorrow on various routes. The X2 for Mr. Stone... Uh, and uh, the X2 for Alan Swinnock there, also on the Geminis. We really do have a lot of Geminis, don't we? Um, I'm not seeing any Chester Park and Rides on the Geminis, so we might have managed to keep that purely electric. I mean, I'm skipping through them not really looking, but let's have a look. So we've got Chester Park and Ride, Chester Park and Ride, yeah, all Chester Park and Ride. Lovely. I mean, that'll do. That'll do. I'm really happy with that. We need one more electric bus. Just one more. Let's research another e-bus and see if we can get that. I hope it's something nice, but I have a feeling it'll be an Uptair Metro Decker. And you know my feelings towards... Uh, sorry, it's not Uptair anymore, is it? I forget. Since when were they rebranded? Well, I know they were rebranded in 2020, but apparently they've been rebranded to a company called Switch. So it's a Switch Metro Decker now. Right, Green Acres Animal Park, what do you want? A shuttle bus for an event, uh, up to 277 passengers an hour. Right, hang on, hang on. Sunday to Monday, 11 to 1500, interval of every 20 minutes. Right, so divide up my three. Right, we can do that. They'll only pay 7,300. It's not an awful lot, is it? Right, hang on. Connection to Howarden Railway Station, I'm assuming. Yeah. Right, there we go. Railway Station. And Green Acres Animal Park. Right. Oh, it's not actually that long of a distance, is it? Right. Right, we'll get that on there. Yeah, add the return trip. Right, so, hang on, we need to go on tomorrow. So this shuttle service, I want it to be a double-decker, although now I've automatically assigned it, I don't know where it's put it. Oh no, what a disaster. Right, we're going to leave it for today there. 
those words didn't come out in the right order. Uh, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. If you do have any brilliant ideas uh, as to how we can continue this, I'm going to find this flipping shuttle service, I'll tell you that now. Uh, but if you do have any fantastic ideas, please do let me know in the comments section below, right? You, Yeah, you're not going to cut the mustard, Jason Banner, in the coach. It's going to need to be something bigger and better. Uh, yeah, do let me know in the comments section below. There we go, take a Gemini. And be happy about it. Um, yeah, do let me know in the comments section below. If you've enjoyed the video, please click the like button. Always appreciated. We will finish our research, or we already have, uh, in the next episode. What was it we got? Oh, it was a BZL. Right, tell you what, we'll have one of them. Nah, 22 grand. You must accept that. Um, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Do make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.